For people with life-threatening illnesses of the blood, including leukemia, sickle cell anemia, or a plastic anemia, bone marrow transplants can save lives. There's a uh, nonprofit organization called Be The Match. They're working hard to find more among the ethnic communities, African-American, Hispanic. Students at Heritage High School in Frisco are rallying around a recent graduate. He's the youngest of four kids, and he's the kid who never been sick before. But he is Filipino, which makes an exact match harder to find. So students at Heritage High organized a swab drive, an attempt to get more people to be tested with a simple swab donation of saliva to see if someone in North Texas might be able to save Daryl's life. Since the 2000s, there has been a lack of donors in the bone marrow registry. This affects the chances of patients of different ethnicities to find a match and in turn find a cure. Students here at Heritage High School in Frisco, Texas found out about this issue through the Health Occupation Students of America organization. They researched the issue, planned a solution, and started their mission. Uh, last year, when I did host a competition, I competed in healthcare issues. So healthcare issues is basically when you educate yourself on all the things that are going on in the healthcare world, which is basically like obesity rates and you know heart disease and like different things that are happening, like different virus outbreaks, like all over the United States. And you get to like, it really forces you to educate yourself on what's going on in the healthcare community. I was in HOSA last year too, and I did some volunteering then, just around helping. Uh, in a couple situations at like a hospital and stuff. One of my uncles is a doctor. I've volunteered with him a couple times. I came to all like the different meetings, met a bunch of speakers, talked about, like they talked about their careers and like I knew it was something I wanted to do. And by the end of la um, last year, I ended up um, running for officer because I knew it was something I wanted to do with my future career. Uh, Neil, Piyush, and Abby, they are my teammates. And we have actually gone to middle school together. So we've known each other for quite a while. and. I think it just came to us, we were like, hey, let's take on community awareness this year and see where it takes us. <laughs> in HOSA, we do this thing where we get to call an actual professional of a certain profession and have them talk about their profession, which is really cool because you can explore other professions and see what people in the field have to say about it. A Be The Match representative, which is a big bone marrow donation agency or stem cell donation agency, uh, they came to us and they presented to our school. Uh, in all of the health science classes and midterm classes and such and uh, we listened to her presentation and we were like oh this relates to what we're doing it's really interesting uh, we talked to her a bit and she started giving us some uh, details on what we could do to help when Miss um, Cannon came in when she talked about it like we realized what a big issue it was because she showed us that like chart that showed us the diversity between people in the registry and like right away just looking at that we were like that's a big like issue right here when we said people who are like a different race can't find their match just because like people aren't in the registry we were like we really need to do something about this and obviously we know that Frisco is such a diverse community and so we knew that we could make a big impact by doing something like that here. Mm -hmm. We needed to choose a topic where um, it was like an issue or something that society may not know much about and we needed to educate the community and bring awareness to the topic and uh, through that maybe hold some sort of event or drive or something like that and so we kind of decided why don't we do maybe bone marrow donation because we had like lots of good ideas to go with that. Well we all thought back to like there was a recent story where um, this man died uh, in a stem cell donation transplant. And uh, we were um, thinking about that, we're like, oh, there's a lot of stigmatic belief because people are now afraid to sign up for the registry and such. People won't sign up, they won't come in. Um, my mom was talking about it actually a few days before uh, any of this had even started. And we were thinking, oh, how, what can we do to change their beliefs about that? Because it wasn't the fault of the procedure. It's not an unsafe procedure. It's actually less invasive um, and more effective than ever before it's as easy as donating blood and so we just wanted to think about how we could dispel the stigma and change the mindsets of people the word marrow has a really negative connotation to it which is why we chose it really we started thinking okay bone marrow okay let's take the word marrow out of that and then we're like what's our goal what are we trying to do and then neil was a genius and was like he put mission and marrow together and we were like you know what that's it that's perfect <laughs> So we want to use the name Mission Marrow to reach people and so they can hear the word marrow and they can recognize it.
Neil, Piyush, Abhinaya, and Shashmita had finally determined a plan for competition. But one email to their HOSA advisor would change the route of this entire project's development. Through Be The Match, we were able to connect. Um, like she brought us back to uh, one of the people she was working with currently was Daryl. And Miss Lark saw Daryl's picture and was like, wait a second, this kid who was in my class, he used to go to Heritage. He is a graduate of Heritage. And uh, from there, everything's just like started coming so fast. So Daryl was in my class in midterm, um, his junior year. And then um, when he started his, the beginning of his senior year, he was in school one day and then uh, fell ill and never came back to class. Um, and then when um, we started the process of this project in the beginning of the year, uh, our Be The Match contact sent me an email with Daryl's picture in the email. I had no idea that he was that sick. Mm -hmm. um, so I sent it out immediately to uh, the group that was to become Mission Marrow, and they, they've just run with it ever since. A young man named Daryl DeGenio, his story, he suffers from aplastic anemia. And so obviously we heard that and we were like, what can we do to help? And so more than anything, we were uh, really looking for solutions to how can we find him a cure, how can we find him a transplant. And the first thing we do is we have to talk to it, talk about it with the principal. And the principal has to get it approved. And then after that, we talk to our representative from Be The Match, Ms. Leslie Cannon. And then from there, we set up a drive and then we create usually a Google form and we send that out to the entire community and people can RSVP to come to the drive at a certain time with that Google form. And then once they come, they fill out a short questionnaire and then do the uh, buccal swab kit and then they're on the registry. I think our main goal was to kind of get students to let their t uh, parents and um, teachers know about it as well. And I was a little discouraged because we didn't really see um, people sign up for the registry. I was really discouraged because I know that our target audience, like me as a 15 year old and my group, we're just a bunch of 15 year olds and we're, our age range that we need to target is 18 to 44. So the fact that we're like trying to show, like tell our school about it, we're not getting much help there because I mean we are just students and there's not much we can do ourselves, right? So when we were on NBC and Fox and ABC, like everyone in the area heard about us. And then um, the Texas Congress members found out about us. And so our exposure has really been just like upping, you know, there's like different levels of exposure. So at first it was our heritage community, then it was our regional community, and now it's the state community. And so, I mean, you know, it just goes up from here. Like, you know, there's no stopping us. <laughs> I definitely did not expect as big of a turnout as we got at the, um, drives and the volunteering as a whole because most drives only get like 20 to 30 people signed up there unless it's like a really big they invest money and all that and i think our drive getting 100 was monumental uh because of the amount of work that we had put in um it was it was just really big for us to get that many people and the volunteering opportunities uh the host and members have been great there's we've had more than enough people come in and more than enough people come in to volunteer and at one opportunity we didn't have enough space for the amount of volunteers that it showed up and so that was just it was crazy to me oh we've made this much of an impact this many people want to come help and uh, it definitely was not what I was expecting at all. So at the drive people came in like people like I remember a specific woman walked in she was like I saw you guys in the news like five minutes ago and I was on my way to work and I like ran in here to do it and specifically Filipino Americans came in a lot of them they were looking forward to seeing Daryl too they were really into it they were like they like after Daryl's family did come by so after they donated they went and talked to him gave his family a hug they were like you will find your match and a boy who actually went to like a, like a high school here said it was his lunch period and he heard about what happened and he said I'm Filipino American so like why not just give it a shot and he drove all the way down here just to donate and go back to school and that's so heartwarming to see that people like once they know what's going on and they realize how simple it is they're willing to come by this project has taken on a life of its own um, so much more than just the four students or just me um, even more than just heritage high school there are so many organizations now that are interested in finding a match not only for daryl but for anyone this project has definitely become more than a competition at this point it's become something we're personally connected with and um it's taking a big, big portion of our lives. So even after competition, once it's all said and done, we're still gonna keep it going and keep continuing this into the future because it's more 
it's more than just a way to buff up our college applications and stuff. It's um, it's become a, a mission. Mm -hmm. Mission.